The traditional vertical magnetized loops are ideal for patients with good dentition. However, different techniques can be better suited for patients with poorer dentition. One of these techniques is the figure eight. The figure eight uses fewer ties and creates diagonal and lateral forces, as opposed to vertical, that allow mini ties to work in larger embrasures. The figure eight can be used in conjunction with other mini ties in the standard application. Here's how you apply it. To begin, insert the blunt tipped stainless steel introducer into the embrasure by either piercing the gingiva or by displacing the papilla. After entering the mandibular embrasure from buccal to lingual, cross laterally behind the teeth and exit through another mandibular embrasure, typically two to three spaces from the first. Cross diagonally across the front of the teeth and insert into the embrasure space in the maxilla directly above the first, from buccal to lingual. Cross laterally behind the upper set of dentition and exit through another maxillary embrasure, typically two to three spaces from the previous. Finish the figure eight by crossing diagonally and inserting the introducer into the green side of the clasp bed. Leave the ties loose until all are applied. Tighten the suture's finger tight by pulling on the suture while pushing the clasp bed down and against the teeth. Once occlusion is confirmed, continue final tightening to ensure that there is no slack on the lingual side of the teeth. A short tail about an inch long can be left for intraoperative use, allowing for additional tightening if needed. Or, for close treatment, cut the suture as close as possible to the clasp head so that it is flush and smooth, maximizing patient comfort. You will not be able to tighten after the step. The figure eight can be incorrectly applied by inserting, then going vertical, then diagonal, then vertical, then diagonal. This incorrect figure eight can floss through normal embrasures and does not provide any additional strength.